Hey guys, welcome back to some more Risk of Rain. So, today we are going to be playing as the Miner, which is probably one of my worst characters. So, I decided that characters that I'm not good with or I generally don't like, I'm just going to play on easy mode. So, you guys can get more experience at a character than just me being just completely dying and getting killed. Uh, there's a couple characters that we can do this with. We can do this with, like, the Engineer, like, the Bandit, the, uh, probably Handy. You know, those are the kind of characters that I'm not really a big fan of, so, yeah. And, uh, let's see, we're gonna, we can, we can keep on a, a spirit, spirit, and we're gonna take off Spike today. So let's go ahead and play. So, I know Jessica Rain's probably the worst series on the channel right now. Uh, it's not getting the views that, you know, that, uh, you expect out of the series. But, uh, you know, there's not much that I can do about that. But, I, you know what, as long as one person is watching, I will continue to do these videos. So... Uh, no, like the ca last couple of videos, it's only been getting one view. <sighs> That's not even worth it. That's not even worth picking up. That's a terrible item. Probably the worst, one of the worst items in the game. Alright. Now, I'd love to, you know, go into detail and explain about, you know, how to play the miner and such, but to tell you the truth, I don't even really know how to play the miner. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Just, uh, one person that you're, that you're watching, uh, you know, thank you for watching. Thank you for the support. Uh, I don't want to end this series. I really enjoy the game. The game is super fun, and I really wish that, you know, uh, that this series would get, you know, half the views that, uh, the other series get, but, you know, you know that's just how it works. Anyway, I guess I can start going into, uh, detail about the Miner. Alright, but Miner is arguably one of the most hardest characters to you to use in this game. Uh, he has, uh, he, he, He's typically known for his iframes, but his iframes are kind of hard to pull off. So, uh, you know, it's, he's kind of an iffy character, you know, he's not really up there. And the funny thing is, is that if you guys ever played Maple Story, and for those of you who have, it's been awesome. If not, then it's cool. Uh, you might know what I'm talking about. There's actually a character on there, and it's called the Buccaneer, and it's like one of the highest levels of a pirate. And when I play this character, and I actually have a pirate in the game... His moveset reminds me a lot of the pirate. You know, the way he uh, dodges and moves and stuff like that. There's actually, there's actually, an, uh, there's actually an artifact up here, so I'm gonna try to get up here if I can. Ah, it's like if I press it, you know, go to the other side. Let's go. Let's let's walk into it. There we go. So you have to kind of like use his uh his attack that boost him up to get this uh this artifact up here. I said eventually I'm gonna get all the artifacts, so uh you might I might as well get them while I'm on my way, you know. I'll jump over here. Walk down here. Uh, you could actually get in here before they put the artifact in here, but they didn't have those those boosters and then you would pretty much be get stuck in here, so uh, they fixed that. But here is another artifact. That's the artifact of honor. So, that's another artifact down. You know, maybe we can use it, uh, you know, next session. I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, about the pirate. The, the character pretty much has a couple of moves that, um, that you would see from the pirate character in Maple Story, and that's why, you know, it just seems so familiar to play as this character. Uh, one of the moves that he has is this push ability, or push and hold. It's actually called a uh, corkscrew blow, I believe that's what it's called. And then this attack right here, where I kind of, like, jump back and hit him. Uh, that's also a move that the the pirate has, the buccaneer has, and I call it, I think it's called backspin blow. So you know, it's just kind of like nostalgia when I play this. I don't play Maple Story anymore, but uh, when I did, it was a fun experience, and you know, the, this will pretty much be like the closest thing that I'll get to playing Maple Story is playing as this character. But it's just a car hard character to use. It it really is like. If you're if you're just hopping on the game and you like if you would ask me okay that's a shitty item too if you would ask me like oh Daniel what's a good character to start off with I would never say the the miner never because he's just a hard character to play as you know like he's like an elite elite character you know where he's good if you know how to use him and if you don't then you're, you're in some deep crap all right I'm gonna get this war banner. I used to not like Warbender, but, you know, it's always beneficial. Whenever you level up, you get this little circle, you're in the circle, you know, your attack speed increase, your healing speed increase, your walking speed increase, and it just, it just all increases, so, you know, why not get stronger, you know? 
just free free getting stronger, right? Alright, so we're going against the the wandering vagrant here. Uh one of the I'd say the easier bosses. I'd say, I'd say probably the hardest bosses. I wanna say the Magmorm. That's that's definitely the harder that's the hardest boss. Anyway, we're gonna hopefully quickly take out this boss. Like I said, playing as this character just totally reminds me of uh playing as a buccaneer. The only thing I don't like is his normal attack. It's kinda like too oh, I did that backwards. It's kinda too close ranged. I mean it has some distance, but it's kinda too close ranged for my taste. Oh, see, there, there's the war banner right there. So I went ahead and dropped that down. Like I said, it's a fun character. It's, it, there's like, I think there's like two really good iframe characters right there. Oh, oh, there's Sorota. <laughs> I forgot to go on Do Not Disturb on Skype, so my bad. <laughs> I know she was actually supposed to join me in this series, but you know, she's just been. You know, I haven't really been in contact with her that often, so, you know, one of these times we will go ahead and, uh, get her to join me. Uh, maybe we can play tagging, you know, because this game is multiplayer. I would actually, like, hold on, 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 hold on. Go away. <laughs> like, <laughs> please. <laughs> Seven enemies remain. Yeah, and, I'm, and like I said, I'm playing on easy mode, so... Uh, like I said, if it's, a, if it's a character that I'm not that good with, I will go ahead and play on easy mode. And if it's a more difficult character, well, we can go ahead and... Uh, or a character that I'm better with, we can go ahead and play medium mode. I'm actually trying to accomplish a goal of uh, unlocking some character, uh, One character, there's one character I'm actually missing. You know what, I'm actually going to go ahead and pause this and uh, go and do not disturb on Skype, so be right back. Okay, sorry to be so unprofessional. <laughs> anyway, I'm actually tr trying to unlock the last character that I need to unlock in this game, and that is the Huntress, and she's a really good character. So to unlock that, you need uh, to unlock her. You need to get some uh, some monster logs, and to get monster logs, you gotta get uh, you have to be on medium mode or harder. So uh, therefore, I doubt I'll ever be unlocking. Uh, uh, her anytime soon. I think you gotta get 15 monster logs. I think I only have 12, so uh, I won't be getting any monster logs on this because I'm on easy mode, so which is fine. I totally don't mind. Anyway, uh, we got one more enemy to kill and um, we got some money to spend, so we'll go ahead and just uh, purchase some stuff. So we got uh, two tough times. Pretty good item, I must say. Uh, it reduces the damage I take by, I believe, 14%, which is great, so they stack. I don't believe it's 14, 14, 14, and then it keeps stacking, but I think it's like 14 the first time, and I think, like, maybe I want to say, uh, maybe like 10 or something like that, along those lines. Just just know it's a good item. Just all you need to know. It's a pretty good tier 2. You know, who doesn't want to reduce the damage that they take in games? Anyway. Uh... There's another goat hoof. Definitely going to be taking that. Running speed is always good in this game. You know, mobility. That's, uh, it's one of the key things that, you know, some people forget about in this game, but you just need to keep that in mind. Mobility is key. Oop. Ah, uh, I can't go that way. I can't even... Uh, yeah, I can. What the hell am I talking about? I can jump up there. Wait a couple seconds and jump up there. Now, that's the good thing about the miner is he has that kind of extra jump. To kind of just like shoot himself up, jump. So, like I said, we're on easy mode, so we can we can take a little bit longer in this Earth area. Make sure we you know we get the, all the items that we need to acquire to do well, because you know it's dangerous out there. And we got Brilliant Behemoth, awesome tier three item. Increases my damage by a lot, lot, lot. So, I believe there's one more tier two chest down here. We're gonna head and purchase that. Yep, and uh, Smart Shopper. I'm glad I walked all the way up here for Brilliant Behemoth and Smart Shopper. Those are wonderful items. So I'm going to walk over to the teleporter and smack that button, and we're going to move on to the second stage. But uh, I'll call that for this part. So, uh, like I said, if it's just one viewer watching, as long as it's just one, I will continue this series. So, you know, one person that's been watching lately, thank you. Uh, like I said, I don't want to end this series. I have a lot of enjoyment with this game. I really enjoy this game. And I just wish it would get, like, just half the views that all the seri other series are getting. But, you know, sometimes 
<sighs> it's just what the people want to watch. So, just thank you for the support. So, thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys in the next part. Thanks for watching.